guys. Welcome back to the Swill Entertainment Channel. Now, if this is the first time you guys have joined me here on the channel, make sure you guys consider subscribing to the channel because we do stuff like this, making videos on a daily day basis. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the Play Pass and is it worth it? Is it worth your hard earned money? Okay, so I went ahead and I subscribed to it. Now, they do give you a 30 day um, trial. Um, then after that, it becomes $4.99 uh, a month. And if you want to do it yearly, it's $29.99. And what they're trying to do is compete with the Apple's um, pass they have. Um, they still, Apple does have the $4.99. And then they, their yearly subscription is $49.99. So, of course, they went ahead and knocked their price out cheaper for Android. So, yay, Android. All right, so if you look at it, you got your little section here. And you got the Play Pass. Now, usually, if you look at some of the games, when you're looking for the games, it'll have, like, a price. Sometimes they're, like, $1.99. And I'm thinking, why would I pay for a game when I can get it for free, basically? But they do have some games that are pretty cool. Um, and then there's some of them that are like $13.99. I'm like, why in the hell would I pay that? Now, if you do subscribe to the Play Pass, for the most part, you don't have to pay for anything. Okay? And it's only certain games. Now, I do see some games that do still charge, but not in the Play Pass, though. If you see that we have Pocket City. We got Football Manager 2021. We got a game called Limbo. And I do want to try like all these games out because I'm trying to actually find some new games to play and the regular um, Google Play is just not having it. All right. Um, now, for the for the most part, I've seen a lot of games. They're looking like the little 8-bit, like this one, 8-bit farm. A lot of these are like 8-bit type games. Now, they get high ratings for some reason. I mean, I figure if I'm going to go ahead and pay for something, I want to get the cream of the crop stuff. I don't want to get like some crap just to pay for it every single month. I want it to be worth it. I want to be able to justify the reason why I'm spending my hard-earned ducats, okay? And I'm sure you guys are pretty much the exact same thing, same boat, and everything like that. Um, they got a lot of different games. They got Skateboard Party 3. I may just go ahead and download that one as well. It looks kind of fun, okay? And that's about it. I just look for games like that. Now, they got the recommended section, of course. They recommend a lot of stuff. They got this one called Undead Horde. I've been looking at this one. It has a, a decent rating. I'm going to go ahead and download it. All right, just going to try it out. All kind of different games, guys. Golf. I got Game Dev Tycoon. Did I download that one? I could have swore I did. <laughs> I got it. I got to get that one too, man. All right, so I got all kinds of stuff. Evo Land. I might as well just download all of them. And the thing is, which is good, I just got a new device. Now I have extra space. Okay, so I got 512 megabytes. So I got plenty of space to play these games. Okay, so I'm not complaining at all. They got one called Sheltered. This may be kind of cool. May try that one out. Let's go ahead and keep on going here. Meteor Fall. Just trying to find ingenuity games. There's different games you won't find on the regular Play Store. Now, I have tried a couple of them, and it was just like, what? Now, it looked like they may be fun, but sometimes it's like, eh. I just honestly want another. I want a little bit more. Okay. Now, if you guys do have this, let me know in the comments below if you guys have it. Have you guys played these games? What kind of, what kind of games can you guys recommend? Because I'm always up for recommendations on games. And I can definitely showcase them on the channel. They got Marvel Pinball. I may download that. I don't know yet. Just got to go through here and figure it all out. Okay. They got this Delight Games. Premium Library. High, high rating or high reviews. I may try this one out at some point. All right. Yeah, I even downloaded the, the Star Wars Old Republic, the full game of that. I used to play that on PC. They ported it over straight up the way it is. I just heard that there may be some kind of bugs. Sometimes the game crashes. But overall, really good experience from people. And I, I like that kind of stuff. You know, if I'm going to pay some extra stuff, might as well. Might as well enjoy that. So I did download that game. I haven't tried it yet on the Android version. But like I said, it's not really Android version. It's the exact port over from PC. Okay, so it's the exact same thing. And I wonder if I can log in my old account. Probably not, but we'll, we'll we'll log on to it later on, and we'll see what's going on. But this is what they got going on, man. Some games, the graphics are high graphics. Some of them are cool. Some of them look like 8-bit graphics, which I'm okay with that. Now, you got games categories as well. You can break it down from action, adventure, arcade, and then you got see more. Or you got the offline games. I know a lot of people make comments. They always ask, is this an offline game? And I'm sure that some people don't have the internet capacity to play some of the games so they want to try to enjoy some of these offline games which is very understandable okay so icon move to game launcher 
And I'm just waiting for another. There's another update that just came out for Game Launcher. If you guys are the ones that use those, I know Android. I know my phone, not this phone, but another phone had an update for that. Actually, my tablet had an update for that, and it looks amazing. So I'm just waiting for my phone to get that same update. All right, so we got these ones. This is continue where you left off. You got those. You got the multiplayer games, which I'm always into. That was Garfield at first. You got chess. You got Touch Grind BMX. And I'm not even like justifying the, the paying for this game, guys. I'm just trying it out just like you guys would honestly try it out. Not even sponsored. No one told me to try this out or anything like that. All right, so Play Pass. And then we got See More. I guess we can check Art and Design. It's all just about drawing. I don't have my S Pen yet. We got the Books and Reference. Encyclopedia. Back in my day, we used to have the big old giant volumes of encyclopedias you had like a bunch of books you had to actually open up <laughs> now everything's electronic i would have never guessed this when i was a little kid that 2021 we'll be reading everything on a small tablet or a phone all right so they got health and fitness art design business entertainment lifestyle personalization productivity video players and editors weather tools photography music and audio health fitness or he did that one um, education, book, and reference. So it's all this good stuff, man. Medi meditation, music, relax, yoga, sleep, relaxing sounds, baby sleep, white noise. What? Sleep sounds, white noise pro, white noise, rooted panic attack, and anxiety relief. Those all seem fine and dandy. You got casual games, puzzle adventure games. It breaks it down into categories, which I definitely appreciate because if I'm looking for a specific type of game, I want to go to that genre. Not to sit there and scroll left and right and say, oh my God, which one looks cool? But that's fine too. But they, they did a pretty good job figuring this out. I think I downloaded two games I tried that I didn't really care for. Not that they were bad games. Just I wasn't really into them. And that's about it. But overall, like I said, if you look at the reviews, the reviews are high for a lot of these things. But hey, let, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys if you guys are actually playing this or if there's any games that you can recommend. Please let me know, guys, because I want to make sure... If I don't, if my subscription runs out, I want to make sure that it's still good. So I can keep on paying for it. If it's, if it's worth it, I will do that. If the money makes sense, I will spend it. But either way, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.